Hello there, welcome to GTEC Media. Today we are going to be designing an April new month design. It's very simple to do. So all you need to do is to follow the work. The design is done in Photoshop. So welcome to this channel. We do design, we do tech reviews, we do how to solve some simple solutions on designs on tech, on tech and manner of computer blah 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 issues. So do want to subscribe, to like and comment. Let's dive into today's work. Thank you very much. So we are going to design this this flyer, social media flyer. So let's go straight into it. Click on file new create new i'll click on four by four four by four inches 300 pixels four by four inches 300 resolution rgb color mode and the color contents while i can click on create and we're going to unlock this i'm going to um, click on view click on view or the clear guides guys all right so first of all we're going to create a new solid color i'm going to change the, the color field to color field to this color code dd 9639 all right so next we drag in our, our image into our into photoshop then we are going to scale it up or scale it up, we drag the edges, the edge, and scale it up. Scale it up when you are scaling, make sure that this is in order so that it can maintain aspect ratio of the whatever you are scaling. So, we're going to change the blend mode of this to extrusion, to exclusion, and we're going to change the opacity to. to 96 percent 96 percent all right so we're going to click on this i'm going to click on filter i'm going to add noise add noise um i'm going to leave it like this i'm going to leave it like this so what we're going to do next we're going to bring in another of our image we're going to bring another of image this one png here i'm going to place it here then we're going to add adjustment to this so click on adjustment or we'll click adjustment here we we'll click on adjustment here we'll click on q and saturation then we're going to clip it to this layer then i'm going to change the change the hue to minus 70 change the change saturation to minus 58 Minus 60, then leave the lighting at the lightness at zero. And I will go to add on that under hue and saturation, hue and saturation. And I'm going to change this saturation to 10. Saturation of this to 10. 10. Alright, that is that for this. So we are going to create a an ellipse. An ellipse, we're going to drag this ellipse out holding shift so i can be scaled proportionally i'm going to change the feel of this to yellow to bright yellow like this then i'm going to hold alt and drag this one up here to duplicate then i'm going to hold alt and drag this in the middle like this into the middle like this all right now we'll click on good then this first ellipse one we're going to change the opacity to about 65 about 65 64 so i'm going to change the filter of this so i'm going to change i'm going to add a, a gaussian blur to make it glow to make this glow i'm going to add filter gaussian blur to add gaussian blur to this i'm going to convert it to smart objects and 9.6 is the size we're going to use for this so i'm going to select these two circles and group them and group 
them and we're going to rename it rename the group to glue circles glue circles all right so we can decide to match this group so to be on its own or we can just decide to convert it to smart objects all right can just set cover this much of this so that we can be able to edit these attributes later so mm -hmm, we're going to bring in this black texture wallpaper black paper texture to our design i'm going to scale it on the scale it to be big to cover this design cover this design I'm going to change the tech, the blend mode to dissolve, dissolve, and change the opacity to to one or two percent, <laughs> to one or two percent to bring, make it have a little bit of greens in it. The design has green, have greens in it. So I'm going to take this Ctrl T, take this up like this. <laughs> All right, <laughs> click on good. And we're going, to, we're going to lock this layer. To lock all these layers here. We're going to lock these layers here. Click on lock here, so that they won't be displaced when we're moving on the objects. So we're going to bring in our picture, a picture here of the subject character. We're going to bring it and drag it into. Photoshop. So we're going to make edits here to this. We're going to select the subject very quickly. We'll just click on select and we'll click on subject. So automatically Photoshop helps us to cut the, the guy out and it works very well with and a very good image because this image is only there from free pick. So it works with a very good image. So just give me some time to select. So our subject is selected already. So we can decide to see, we can decide to add a max to it. I'm going to add a max to it normally. Control Z. So we're just going to add, go to select, so we're going to click on modify, smooth. And we're going to increase this the root radius to five. Okay, we we'll also also add. We're going to add a select also. We're going to add modify the contrast. I'm going to contrast it by one by one. All right. So we can now do this. Add layer max. Then we're going to convert this one to smart object. To smart object. So this layer, we are now going to duplicate it and send it to our mean design right they are ready so it's going to appear very big it appears very big very very big so i can I'm going to scale it down to scale it down i'm going to put to scale it down to scale it down click on good then we can zoom into our design. You can see, you can see that it's all good now. Then we will still make adjustments to this uh, glue circles. Control T. Just move it about where his head is. With about where his head is. Good. Then we're going to make or to increase the size of it. Just going to drag it out. Just going to drag it out a bit. Okay, click on good, and I'm going to still place it, still place it in the back of his head, just directly at the back of his head. All right. So this one is just some part of the design. So I'm going to add, I'm going to duplicate this layer. Then this one, I'm going to off this, off this. Then I'm going to add a filter to this, a filter. I'm going to click on filter, filter gallery. Filter gallery, so it opens up filter gallery, and with filter we are going to use we're going to use artistic, 
what I normally use at this stick. At this stick, then put the edges. Then the edge thickness is two, the intensity is one, or polarization is also two. So click on OK. And it gives you this um, cartoonish looking type of person. Cartoonish like looking type of person here. So let's just look at this and look at this. Okay, I think we're going to bring this go to break this up a bit click on ok I'm gonna bring this let it be bigger all right oh good all right so can look at this and look at this one's a little bit bigger than that and take it down a bit all right good all right so so right we're also going to increase this increase the size of this size of this all right so click on good Says this so we'll bring this guy down here this guy down here all right so i've achieved that and what's left what's left is just the typography of this we're going to type in we're using the the type called ammo pearson ammo pearson we're going to type to t on our keyboard i'm going to type welcome to Welcome to this is and um, this is Poppins rather. I'm going to duplicate this Ctrl J. Now I'm going to make edit to this. I'm going to write April. April. Uh, April. We're going to change the font of this to Armor Piercing. Armor Piercing. Regular. I want to increase it to 72 and we're pacing regular all right 72 place it around here i want to bring out a line here just the ruler all right let's just let's just move this first Uh -huh. so we're going to duplicate this we're going to duplicate this duplicate this this april duplicate it ctrl j then the copy on that we're going to change the color of the copy we're going to change the color to this color Change it to this color. Then we're going to just going to drag this one to the side. And let's just de duplicate this one again. Uh, let's drag this one to the side. So we end up with something like a bear veil to it. So we end up with something like a bear veil, a bear veil looking kind of 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 text. So I'm going to select all these texts. Then we're going to group it. We're going to group it. Then we're going to add to this April. We're going to add a drop shadow to this. A drop shadow. This is up to drop shadow 20, 10, 18, and 20. So drop shadow is up just is up to drop shadow to this. Then what we're going to do is this we're going to drag out this April, this top April. We're going to hold alt and drag it up. And we'll drag it out of this group. Then I'm going to check Ctrl T. I want to drag it down just below this one. And we're 
are going to change the plane mode to overlay overlay right and i want this to be behind this picture to be behind this picture also drag this one down like this okay overlay i'm going to drag on that one i'm going to control g i just want to or we'll hold alt and drag this up i'm going to drag with alt and drag this up i'm going to drag i'm going to control t to drag this one down to drag this one down here to create a kind of repetition on the design a repetition then we'll just reduce the opacity of this to to about 58 so we can see i think we'll reduce the opacity of this also all right so created a repetition on this one this one is we click this one to be like about 70 70 then this one will be like 50 then you can put the welcome to at the top of the april so the design is done then what's next what's next can add my logo click media just duplicate it to the untitled one so what we have it's what we have here what we have here and this is what we have what we have here is what we have here not quite different from what i did so thank you for watching this video do well to subscribe do well to like do well to comment and hear your views on the channel thank you for watching this video do well to subscribe like and comment thank you very much and i'll see you on the next video thank you very much